guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It's Spooky Noodles, aka Nicholas Gray, author of such amazing books such as Gray Matter, a collection of horror, and a few other novelettes out there, you know? Um, you might actually see some new uh, novelettes in uh, the next collection. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically what we got here is a failure to communicate. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we have The Slob. And I know I'm not in the best lighting, so I apologize. And I'm on my bed again, <laughs> because I'm gonna just review all my things from the bed, just so you guys feel comfortable with me, you know? We can really connect on a different level, if you know what I mean. All right, back at, anyways, um, for this review, um, I'm gonna pull up my Goodreads review on my laptop, which I haven't even done yet. And uh, from there, we will discuss The Slob by Aaron Beauregard. So see you in a minute here. Or, well, not a minute. For, for me, it's going to be like five minutes. But for you guys, it's going to be like a second. So see you in a second. <laughs> okay, I am back. So first, I'm going to read the, the uh, synopsis on the back. And uh, then we will delve into my review. And then maybe we'll talk a little bit more afterwards. Sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, let me read the review or uh, <laughs> the back of the book. And uh, you guys can uh, gauge whether you want to read this book just based on the synopsis. Because the synopsis alone is pretty good. So, And my review should sell it better than the synopsis maybe, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. But anyways, here we go. Some stains don't come out. Raised in a household so filthy it was stomach spilling vera involuntarily evolved into a neat freak upon discovering she had and she and her disabled husband daniel were expecting or are expecting she needs fast cash her obsession with clean, cleanliness sprouts the concept that her skills can be put to use in a unique way she takes a stab at the booming door-to-door -door vacuum sales business of 1988 all is going well until she arrives at the steps of a house that will change her forever. She steps the steps of the, an evil that resurrects the ghastly memories she so desperately tried to wash away. Nothing will prepare you for the nastiness, disorder, and sickening horror brought forth by the slob. And I just realized that you guys got a good little view of my mouth. So, sorry about that. But yeah, that is The Slob by Aaron Beauregard. Um, so I'm gonna move over here for a second so I can read my review, which is on my laptop, which is on Goodreads, and it's gonna be on Amazon soon, so that's cool. Um, so here we go, here is my review. Holy hot sauce, Batman. We have another depraved book to review. This book was an intense one. Not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. I loved Vera, the protagonist, and the antagonist, the slob, disgusted me unlike any other. This book had a good amount of gross-out scenes that left me in awe, and it was written very, very well. The story that was written was both disturbing and page-turning. My mind was like, oh god, no more. But something that was inside me was possessing me to turn to the next page for some more vile stuff. This book was truly amazing, and since this is the slob we're talking about, let me change the rating system from stars to puke stains. I give this one five freaking puke stains. Super good story that I won't forget anytime soon. So, yes, the slob was incredible. It just freaking incredible. Um, I think I gave Dai Tommy like five stars. I might have to make a whole new rating system just for this guy, which I kind of already have because we're doing puke stains now just for this guy. But um, yeah, Dai Tommy was great, you know? And this book makes me want to re-rate that book, but I can't re-rate a book I, you know, honestly gave five stars to. But this just goes over that book. This blows that book out of the water, which makes me think maybe I have a book crush on Aaron Beauregard. Anyways, um, anyways, <coughs> um, sorry, it's still a little sick here, but, um, yeah, The Slob by Aaron Beauregard, um, very, very good book, very, very good book, very disgusting book, but very good book. I love disgustingness. I learned that when I read Daniel J. Volpe's Billy Silver. There's a syringe scene in that scene, a hypodermic syringe, I think, where 
they shove the needle into the bed of their nail and then they push on the plunger or push up on the pull back the plunger i don't remember what they did but oh it made me cringe and uh there was a few scenes in this that made my stomach kind of turn in fact there was something that happened to me the other day um i was I read a really gross scene. I don't remember which gross scene, but I read a really gross scene in this book. And then I went into the other room to watch my dog puke. And usually that sh that stuff doesn't really get to me. Um, but after reading The Slob, my stomach was not prepared to even see that. I was kind of walking away from the book so I can get away from that. And then I see this, well, I'm not going to describe it for you because I don't want to be gross, but uh, I see my dog throw up and... Uh, I almost threw it myself. Uh, it was just, it was just, it was because of this book that I almost threw up. So I can actually legitimately say a book pretty much almost made me throw up, which is crazy to think about because he's so descriptive in his writing and he weaves this really good story and he just does an amazing job writing a character that you really care for, which is actually kind of strange in, in a good little way. Like, no offense to extreme horror, but from what I've read so far, and I haven't read a lot of extreme horror, mind you. I'm still new to reading in general. I mean, I've read for like four years now in a row, five years uh, next year. Maybe a little longer than that. I don't really know. But um, my point is, I'm a fairly new reader. I started reading like four or five years ago. And uh, in my young reading career and my very young extreme horror career from when it comes to reading... Um, I haven't really been this grossed out in a long time. And honestly, it takes a lot to gross me out. I, I used to watch a lot of weird and odd videos because I wanted to be a, uh, murdered, uh, sorry. Uh, what was it? What was it called again? There was a specific word I'm thinking, but basically a homicide detective. Um, and I wanted to, ex you know, see if my stomach could take it and handle it. And the only thing I could find that really grossed me out was a C-section. Um, other than that the cesarean section or whatever you call it um nothing really grossed me out at the time you know i've watched a lot of depraved videos and i'm not proud of it but uh yeah i'm i, I got a pretty strong stomach so for a book maybe i'm becoming soft but this book really kind of made me a coward because every time i came to this well not coward per se um this book really made me just turn my stomach you know and um and that's saying something because I got a, a really strong stomach. So not a lot of things gross me out, especially when I'm eating. You know, I don't get grossed out a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I'm, I'm so ravenous that it doesn't matter. But anyways, um, yeah, this book legitimately made me yak a little. <laughs> not really, but uh, kind of. Um, if you've read... Anyways, um, yeah, um, this book was fantastic. Um, Aaron Beauregard, dude, this is my second book I've read by you. And I just have to say, you are a terrific writer. Um, you have a talent, and I hope you continue writing because I want a big bi bibliography to read for you from you um, because you're becoming one of my favorite indie authors. Um, my favorite indie author right now is John Wayne Communale. Um It's gonna be hard to top him, my dude. But honestly, I can I can settle for you know either. I, I, a tie or second place, you know, but Aaron Beauregard, besides the point, I'm <laughs> just joking around, but, uh, Aaron Beauregard is on the top of my favorite indie author list for, for real. Um, him and John Wayne Communale are at the, at the top. Um, and which makes me, reminds me because I know Daniel J. Volpe, the next book I'm going to read by him is going to rock. I'm going to read the gift of death and then maybe Talia after that. Actually, I've been going back and forth between which one to uh, read, whether it be The Gift of Death or um, Talia. And uh, my brain wants to read, like, it, it makes sense to read Talia after reading Billy Silver. But I really want to read A Gift of Death. Because he talked to me about that book and I started getting excited about it. And then now it's finally out and I really want to read it. But, uh... Yeah, that's besides the point. Um, we're here for the slob. We're not talking about my my books I want to read or authors I want to read. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is Aaron Beauregard is a great indie author, and I feel like he... I haven't... Okay, I haven't read all the books that are up for the Splatterpunk Awards. The only other book I think I've read... I mean, I've read a few, like Magpie Coffin's up there for, I think, 
novella or novel i'm not really sure i'd have to look and see uh what the uh um you know award would be for like that book i'm not really sure because that was a really good book but i don't remember being it being very gory you know what i'm saying even though it had some moments you know nothing will beat this book when it comes to extreme violence so um okay mac by coffin is in the best novel uh category and from what i'm seeing um it's the only book i've read in the novels and then when it comes to best novellas you have the slob uh bella's boys by thomas r clark which is another book i'm listening to right now um i'm really enjoying that uh story um there was one scene that really kind of got to me but uh we'll get into that when i get around to it yeah i i haven't read a lot of these books though is what i'm trying to get at and uh the only two i've really read other than true crime oh i guess i've read three books but uh the all three books i've read are the slob uh true crime and then i'm currently reading bella's boys on audiobook and if I were to make a choice based on all of those books I've read, um, it's cl it's a close call between Bella's Boys and The Slob. But for me, The Slob just gets a little bit more love from me, which is saying a lot because I really like Thomas R. Clark as a person, you know, and uh, I'm really enjoying this audiobook. And uh, I just, I, it's hard to top something so gnarly like, this book you know this book was gnarly this is gross it was downright disgusting it was awesome and uh bella's boys is a great story you know i'm really enjoying the cosmic horror feel to it and there was an extreme scene in there but i don't think when it comes to splatterpunk awards i i think the slob just wins out just by a little bit um, and I haven't finished the Bell's Boys, so I have really no room to talk. You know, it could get more brutal as it goes, but the slob stayed consistent throughout the book. Um, like first chapter you get, or maybe is it the first or second chapter? You get a pretty, uh, pretty good understanding of, uh, what you're going to get. And then it goes beyond it. <laughs> um, chapter two really hit me hard emotionally um it reminded me a lot of my sister and uh she's still here by the way um she's kicking um but it reminded me of her and uh it, it kind of brought up some emotion in me that i wasn't expecting to have come out of me so that sounds off but uh whatever anyways uh yeah this book it was amazing um i i want to say that and reiterate it over and over again in different you know ways but um yeah, Aaron Beauregard's The Slob. Um, go buy this book. The Slob, or The Son of the Slob, is uh, out now, I believe. I have just bought a slob sack. And maybe at the end of this video, I'll show you the uh, little uh, shout-out I got. But, um, yeah. Um, we're at 13 minutes now, so um, I think this is probably a good place to stop. So, if you are watching this awesome i don't know why you would not be watching this but um just in case uh you don't know uh subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff uh, i never asked for it but uh i thought maybe i'd ask for it this time because uh yeah i will get better at commenting on, on videos guys i apologize that i haven't really been communicating with you guys that much um got a lot going on between the business my own writing career reading doing videos and then house stuff and normal life stuff, you know. So I'm I'm very uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um I'm very happy and lucky to be in a state where I don't have to work right now. Um sure when come Monday I'm gonna have to fill out my unemployment and I don't know what I'm gonna do because I haven't looked for jobs in a while, but um We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I haven't really had a lot of offers to work, but that's okay because I've been focusing on writing anyways, you know, so I would probably turn anything down maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't have unemployment forever. It's going to it's gonna go away, but um, I'm, for the most part, I'm just paying attention to writing 
uh, the business and uh, reading. So I've watched the dogs too. So I'm not saying that was hard or anything, but that's something I did. Um, where am I going with this? Uh, I, I will comment on the videos soon. Um, very soon. I just, I, um, I have been just a lot's going on. So I apologize for not commenting on my videos for with you guys and communicating with you better. I will do get better. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping that my uh, anthology that my my company is producing, it comes out in December. I don't know whether I will, I mean, it will be for this, it will be for this year. Sorry about that. Um, I just don't know whether, uh, like, I think it, the, the whole year round counts for the next, uh, uh, the awards. So, you know, maybe our anthology will make it into the, uh, Splatterpunk Awards. That would be amazing if you guys could just totally buy it and stuff. Um, also, um, sorry to say so much in one video, um, but, uh, if you guys could do me a huge favor and, uh, if you're into extreme horror and you have a YouTube channel where you do reviews, leave a comment down below and I'll put you down for a free copy of, um, of, uh, the anthology, No Anesthetic. Um, just, it, you have to have a YouTube channel and review on Amazon and Goodreads. Um, that's only requirements. Um, if you do any of that, then awesome. We will, uh, totally get in touch. But, um, yeah, um, the slob, why I'm bringing up the awards, I guess, I don't know. But, um, the slob is up for an award and I hope it wins. Um, Bella's Boys, I won't be shocked if Bella's Boys wins either. But when it comes to splatter and extreme horror, I think the slob out does it or just beats it out by a little bit nothing against thomas obviously uh tom is a good friend of mine or at least i hope he is <laughs> maybe not after this i don't know but um uh he's a good friend of mine anyways um bella's boys is amazing so far and uh that one scene with johnny be good oh my god but anyways um yeah um the slob amazing five stars or five puke stains if you will um i hope you guys are having a great day i hope you have a spooky night i went over the time limit i wanted to go i talked for five more minutes my bad but yeah have a spooky night and i'll see you in the next video peace out guys i just hit my hat oh yeah